Today on LOA TV, we head to Shell Beach in St. Bernard Parish out of Campos Marina to fish with Captain Rory Rorison of United Charters, Robbie Campo of Campos Marina, and St. Bernard Parish Council Person at Large, Carrie Calais. We head south to the Long Rocks, which border Breton Sound, and make one stop, catching speckled trout and redfish on nearly every cast. And when we fish in St. Bernard Parish, you know we have to eat here too, and we'll take you to another great local restaurant called Charlie's in Violet for some great South Louisiana cuisine and seafood, and you're about to see all of it right now on Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV. ever fish the Shell Beach area, there's miles and miles of rocks. They have the long rocks, short rocks. So where do you fish? And there's a lot of good areas to fish and sometimes when the fish are biting you can just stop on one spot and catch fish. But a couple of things to look for are areas of these rocks where the water comes over and we've got that right here. Now that's not where we're catching the fish at right now, but that's always a good area where you have a wash over. But what we're doing right now is we're catching them on the end of this set of rocks right here. And what's happening is we've got a current line that's formed. The wind's coming out of the north and it's pushing out. The water's pushing out. And we've got this current line over here and those fish are hanging out in that current line. So whenever you see a current line and whenever you see water coming around a point, that's where you want to fish. And there's so many miles of rocks. When you can see something like that, stop it and fish it. And that's where we're catching our fish right now. There we go. Marcy. Robbie's got one on the back of the boat. Good fish. Kind of moved a little bit to get into the fish a little bit better. And, got one too. and Carrie's got one up front. Well, so good. this is good. The fishing continues to be outstanding right now. This is a good trout that she's got. I'm going to get this one in the boat. And as we continue to catch speckled trout, down here in St. Bernard Parish. That's a good fish, Gary. And what a great place to come fishing down here and bring the entire family. And Carrie, I know one of the things that, that y'all like about, about the area is the fact that it's so close. You know, people come down and there's a lot to do in St. Bernard, but you're so close to New Orleans too. No doubt. And people can, we're literally where you fish is 20 minutes from the, from the French Quarter. The parish is less than that. So a lot of things you people can do when they come to New Orleans and they can come down here and come catch some fish. Right, we hope that people come see New Orleans, hang out in the city, and come spend a day trip down to St. Bernard. Um, not only can you fish, but we hope you stop at our restaurants and eat on the way back. We have some of the best restaurants in the area um, yeah. right here in St. Bernard. Oh, I know. We feature a lot of the restaurants, and if you want good Louisiana food, we've got it down here in St. Bernard Parish, and it's all locally owned, family operated, and you know, that's one of the big things about about fishing down here and about what's so great about St. Bernard. It's, yeah, the fishing's great. Yeah, the area's great, but it's people. And we're gonna turn around in a minute and show Robbie Campo catching another trout. His marina has been in business since 1903. That's 116 years. So that marina we left out of today has been in business. And there's another trout that he's gonna catch right oh, now. Oh! No, no. Boy, we, wah, you know, wah, we go wah, to say wah. something nice about Robbie Campo. Don't do okay? that. Okay? Edit that crap. No, yeah. there's no edit. That was, oh, I mean, I was no, doing good. On. So, no, wah, but wah, Robbie's, wah, Robbie's family has just been, they've been down here forever, and a lot of the people have just been here forever. So, great food, great fishing, great people, great culture, and, yeah, speckled trout. Yeah. Uh-huh, there we go. I started throwing plastic again, and voila, I've got a fish. So the live shrimp is definitely the, the bait that they've liked the most, but they are wow, that's a pretty fish. gonna hit 
just about anything. When you, you know, when you get fish this time of year, and you've got people that are throwing live shrimp in the boat, and you've got those fish in a frenzy like we do right now, sometimes you could take that plastic and, and throw it out. And basically, that's a lemon drop matrix shad with a death grip jig head that I'm throwing, and uh, I was just casting and retrieving, catching that fish. So variety of fish we're catching and a variety of ways to catch fish out here. And we just got here. I mean, the sun just came up. Nice fish. And Carrie, we got a lot of great guides down here and it's fun. Kids can come down here. Anybody can come down here. You know, it's, it's look, when you fish with live shrimp, it's, it's an easier way to catch fish. But in order to catch fish with live shrimp, you got to have somebody that's going to take you to catch them. And Rory's been down here for years, and we've got a, a great group of charter captains down here that can take people fishing. And this is something that ladies and kids can do and really have a lot of fun. No doubt. We're seeing a lot more of that lately. Groups of ladies coming out here for a weekend, renting one of the cabins or camps they have on the bayou, and getting the charter captain to take them out. There's absolutely no reason why um, a group of ladies can't come and enjoy it down here, too. And I take my kids out here all the time. Um, but charter captains certainly help. You know, you can't come out here one or two days a year and find shrimp, or, I mean fish, like they do. Um, get, these guys are out here, you know, 200 days a year, sometimes more. So it's the easy way to get out here and find the fish real quick and, you know, have a good day when you come out here. Oh, and speaking of her kids, her kids are, how old are your girls? They're eight. Yeah, twins, they're eight. Twins. So it's not like she's talking about, oh yeah, she's got, you know, a couple of 16 year old, no, it's, <laughs> it's girls that come out here and have a good time. So bring the entire family out here and come catch some fish. Carrie's got something. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie's whacking them over here on this side of the boat. I'm telling you. I mean, catching them just about every single cast. That's a nice That's a good fish. One. Good fish right here. Good fish. Nice summertime speckled trout. And one of the things about fishing these rocks too that's pretty cool is that you do, on, in certain conditions, have some protection from wind. So you can get on one side of the rocks or the other, so you are a little bit protected. When you get out here and you go, when you have to go catch fish out in, in the Bay Alwa or go fish in those areas, then sometimes you know, you, you're at the mercy of the wind, but when you can get out here and get in these rocks, you can get either on the lee side or in front of them when it's not windy like today and catch a mess of trout. The main thing we're looking for is bait. And we've got plenty of it today around this current line. Every time we're throwing out there, we pop the cork, the bait's just scattering. And that's what you want, it's some clean moving water and bait. And that's gonna bring the fish in. And it's working right now. Yeah, it's, we're talking to you about what the keys are to do things here now. Is this more redfish we're seeing today than normal? No, no, it's not unusual to get a bunch of redfish here. I mean, these are- And a lot of big ones. Really, big a lot reds, of big ones? Yes, yeah. This is a good fish. It's a keeper. All right, come on, fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a nice keeper. See, the fishing is so good that we were trying to get Rory to talk about some keys to fish in the rocks. And we can't even do that with carry on front of the boat because when we stop just for a second to take a break, look at this. That's what happens. How about that? Some redfish on the half shell, courtesy of St. Bernard Parish. All right, that's a beautiful fish. Yes, it is. And we are going to let you, whoops, I don't want to hit you with that. Yeah, I got that. But this fish is really hooked. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty red fish. So we'll see if we can get the hook out of here. Rory, I want to ask you a question as, as we try to get the hook out. A lot of people when they're fishing, a lot of people that are fishing down here, including me for a long time, have fished with treble hooks. Um, I have kind of stopped using them when small fish are around, but let's talk about why you're using the cork that you're using and this 
this small, I've never used a one aught a one aught okay. kale hook before for trout or, or redfish, but there's got to be something to it. Down. It's mm -hmm. not a giant hook. It's big enough to catch everything. It's strong enough to catch everything we catch. Also, another good thing when you hung on the rocks, it's light enough to where you can straighten it out and get your rig back. Well, that's pretty cool. So, and if you're fishing with small fish, like we have, you know, we've caught a ton them. of, yeah, we've caught a ton of keeper fish, as you can see, but we've also caught a ton of small fish today, and these are a lot easier to release with this little right. hook. And we'll, and generally it's going to hook them right in the top of the mouth or the, yeah. or the lip. Yeah, instead unless they of swallow, swallow. It, but that's, we'll get the hook here, and that's how small that hook is. And I'll let you take that redfish for her for a second because she's going to take a picture of it. But as we look at the rig here real quick while we're at it, so we've got the one, one out kale hook right here, and then we've got the split shot that we put above it. And what the split shot does basically is it keeps the bait from just jumping out of the water. Right. Because these shrimp will jump out of the water with that. And then Rory, like a lot of other great captains, is using the four, four horsemen popping fork. Can't, beat Can't beat that four horsemen. No. Makes that clicking sound just like it. We're going to talk a little bit about Campos Marina. Campos Marina has been around since 1903. We mentioned that a little bit earlier. We mentioned that a little bit earlier in the show. 1903. It's one of the oldest marinas in the country, and it's family-owned and operated. And we did a piece on it last year. If you want to go and look at it on YouTube, but Robbie, you guys have uh, you have live shrimp. As long as you can fish live shrimp, yep. you're going to have those. Uh, they've got the boat launch, ice fuel, everything you need. Most of all, a lot of the guides from, from down here in the Shell Beach area fish out of Campos Marina. And, yep. and Robbie, kayakers can launch for free. And yes. the, the thing, if you are a fisherman that's going to come and bring your own boat and you don't fish down here all the time, Robbie's going to do a couple of things. Robbie's going to tell you where to go fishing. Absolutely. He's going to tell you maybe this is not the weekend to go fishing. Not going to lie to you. Not going to lie to you. Nope. So if you want great information on where to catch fish down here, call Robbie at Campos Marina and they're going to put you, they're going to point you in the right direction or point you to another day. Yep. And I promise you that's going to be the case. So uh, check them out at Campos since 1903. Yeah, been a long time, 116 years. Yeah, you don't look quite that old. But no, I mean, no. you look about, I, I had you for like 85, 86. Yeah, I didn't well, have you for 116. You. I feel old. Yeah, well, you look it. <laughs>
So I'll just pick it up and eat it. The sauce we make ourselves has over 30 ingredients in it. Very light on the butter, so it's, it's easy on your right. stomach. And that garlic bread to soak it up is amazing. And over here we have our bronze catfish with some fresh lump crab meat topped with a garlic butter sauce. And, and uh, uh, that's a killer looking macaroni and that's cheese. That's award winning mac and cheese also. When you come down here, they also participate in the catch and cook program. So if yes. you're from out of town, bring your fish over here. They'll prepare it for you however you want it prepared. But definitely, whether you're a local or coming down to St. Bernard Parish for the first time and fishing from out of town, come here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's in Violet, Louisiana. It's awesome food. It's Charlie's. It's fresh. It's Louisiana. And it's pure St. Bernard. And Chad, thanks for having us, buddy. Thank this you. food is outstanding, and Great. we hope you come down here and eat some of this. We're going to, back to get back to some fishing now and catch some more speckled trout and redfish and end our day of what's been a super day down here in St. Bernard Parish. Come down and see us. All right, Carrie's got another fish. Like she's got like a, oh, almost fell. She's got another big redfish. She's caught a ton of fish. Robbie's ready to That's go. A we got a, it's a big sheephead. But it doesn't matter what it is, okay? We gotta, she's caught everything big out here today, and it's just been a ton of fun, and we're out of time. So sheephead or not, we are out of time, and wanna thank. Hey, that's a big one. Yeah, it's All a beautiful right. sheephead, and we're gonna get Captain Rory Brilliant. to net that sheephead. And we are gonna tell you that we'd like you to come down here and fish in St. Bernard Parish, where Robbie Campo just missed a fish. But come down here, fish out of Campo's Marina, come eat at some of our great restaurants, Call one of our great captains, like Captain Rory Rorison with United Charters, but just come down here and enjoy great fishing, great food, great culture, just minutes from New Orleans to St. Bernard Parish. All the information you want on fishing down here, it's real easy. Just go to visitstbernard.com. Carrie, thanks for uh, catching all the fish today. Thanks for having us. I'm glad, to, I'm glad we had you. Robbie, as always, the Campo family is awesome. They've been in business. Robbie's 116 years old now. <laughs> doesn't look a day over 85 so go see him at the marina look at the young look how young the guy looks i mean he really he, he really he really does look young when he was born rory even had hair so i mean that was back in the that was back in the day but come down here call captain rory rorison great captain he's gonna put you on fish robbie's catching fish so hey why not come down here and enjoy some outstanding fishing down here in st bernard parish for captain rory rorison kerry calais Robbie Campo and producer Jim Caesar. I'm Kevin Ford. We've had a great day, and we'll see you next time right here on Louisiana Outdoor Adventures TV. That line is absolutely